actually the man in the red hoodie right now. Sorry, 8-Bit Man, but it is all about Kame Mushi in my heart. I'm not going to lie to you. This guy's Mega Man. Second place at EVO. Uh, not barely losing to Ally, let's be real. He kind of yeah. got <laughs> destroyed. But so close to the crown, representing Japan, of course. And 8-Bit Man from South Florida. I think he's actually ranked first there right now, which is pretty insane. Yes, um, with Rob. Good. Yeah, with he, Rob. Uh, only Rob and a little bit of Diddy Kong on the side. So these are two very... Uh, don't want to say robotic players, but you know they play characters that are robots and also play very, like they, they run a process, right? Yeah. Like where they have these designated setups, and it always, always works if everything goes according to plan for them. And best believe those plans are pretty well made, so it's gonna happen. Um, you're gonna see a lot of from Kame Mushi, the Z drop, metal blades, footstools, all kinds of crazy stuff. From 8 Bit Man, you're gonna see a lot of those gyro setups at the edge of the stage. Rob spinning top into up smashes, spikes, what have you. So. These are two players who are really the masters of their character. I'd say, without question, the best Mega Man and the best Rob in the world. The best of the robots, I'd Right, say. exactly. And, you know, I, I guess, who's the best Metroid? The best Samus? <laughs> yeah, the uh, other robot in the game. <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, I, I don't even know. Should but we should have watched uh, Zero's video. Yeah, right. Okay, anyway, um, it's going to be Ape Man versus Kami Mushi. Extremely talented players representing South Florida and Japan never have played before, I believe, unless they somehow ran into each other at EVO. But I'm pretty sure this is a, a brand new matchup for both of them. I feel like this is going to be pretty hard for 8-Bit Man due to mm -hmm. the fact that he plays Rob, such a big character. Um, Mega Man can throw pellets almost yep. infinitely. Um, he's also easier to footstool due to the fact that he's so big. So we might see a lot of footstools, and I'm very interested to see how 8-Bit Man will avoid this. However, he might have fought Scat a couple times due mm -hmm. to the fact that Scat is, I believe, in Georgia. He is, or, yeah. yeah. So they're one state apart and still like a pretty solid driving distance. Yeah, it's pretty far, yeah. yeah. It's not um, in a part of Florida that's too close to um, Scat, but let's see what happens here. Kamehameha, actually. Yeah, Kamehameha. Uh, Kame well, I, I think it's always been both. Like, <laughs> it's Kame Mushi is like the full name, and then he just like abbreviates it to Kamehameha, I think. Because he, he always his Twitter was Kamehameha 0808 or something. Yeah. But either way, I'm just going to call him Kame Mushi for all intents and purposes. Dude, his region is Kanto. That's so sick. This man is representing Palatown out here. Let's go. Wait, what? Look at his region. It's Kanto. Oh, like like from Pokemon. I don't play Pokemon. You know that's like where Pallet Town and Saffron City and all that. That's Kanto, man. That's that's where that is. And the Metal Blade is picked up by <laughs> Anyway, <Kanto>. yeah. <laughs> so I just think that's really cool. It's on our little text file to the side. You'll probably see it between games. But either way, yeah, I think, uh, like you were saying, Keitaro, the size of Rob's character model is going to really come back. Uh, and it's going to be a huge negative for him in the yeah. set because Mega Man is able to keep you out projectiles, the footstools are easier, but also just like his general combo game works so well on a character of Rob's size. Those tornadoes, the metal blade throws into back air. Like, And as you can see, it uh, looks like Ava Man's having just trouble just getting on the stage. He has not touched a stage in a long time, and when he does, it's only near the ledge. Can't get him back into the center stage. And jumping right over to Gyro, picking it up himself, robot for robot. And even though this guy plays a giant character that's really clunky and clumsy, Ape Man has never really been held back by that. He still looks so nimble and fast when he plays. Look at this, just going for the down throw, waits for the air dodge because what Rob wouldn't go for a bear after that. And of course, Ape Man wouldn't because he's smarter than that. Oh, it looks like he's already possibly looking for the footstool, but he knows he oh! doesn't need it! With the dunk, Kamehameha! Another reason that this matchup is really tough for Rob, he's a sitting duck during his recovery. Like, yeah, he can interrupt it with some aerials to protect himself, but Mega Man doesn't care about that. He's got a projectile for a spike, a vicious down or back air that can wipe your stock away at 80, 90% off the stage. Oh Ooh. my goodness, the jab lock with a gyro. It looks like Kamibushi's potentially already looking for the footstool combo. It look, he's holding the metal blade. And he even does that, I'm scared. Yeah, he, he doesn't even need it, but yeah, like you see, Diddy Kong. Oh, okay. Oh, just you. Just, Obliterates him. It felt like it was out of nowhere. Ape Man's a really explosive Rob. You know how you expect Rob to sit there and, I guess, not do much or just throw stuff? Ape Man right. always goes for these weird options. He's always looking for that up smash, too. Yeah, he's very mobile, but that was so unfortunate. He actually turned his gyro around, shot it the wrong way, and cost him some serious ground in making this comeback. Now Kameme looking really good to take game one here, but I don't know, man. Rage Rob actually is really terrifying. <laughs> Rage Rob? <laughs> yeah, it sounds so weird to like, say, but oh. And don't. he saw through it. Wow, man. Throwing down a Metal Blade, getting the Shoryuken. And that was a clean win for Kamehameha. Hopefully, Ape Man will have a better counterfeit stage choice. I've seen a lot of players from Florida go into Duck Hunt. I don't know if Kamehameha 
likes to play there, but I think that's not a stage that's usually legal in Japan. So I feel like he would most likely ban that one or Lilat. Let's see where Ape Man takes it. Man, Kamimushi was... I'm sorry, Ape Man was looking, <laughs> that. was looking really good in the actual fighting exchanges, but then when it came to, like, the nuttiness to come out, yeah. Kamimushi was just like, yeah, man, you've never seen this before, oh. and I know it. A Even if you played Scat. Yeah, a lot of people, their, their Mega Mans are definitely very different. And one thing that Kamehameha does uh, that Scat doesn't do too often is go for the footstool combo. So you're always going to be scared of that, where you could think, hey, let me just run into Mega Man and try to do stuff. But that's what Kamehameha is looking for. So you just want to stay away to avoid that footstool combo. And if you guys did not get to see it, it did not happen this first uh, match, but you'll most likely see it. I say, why do they always go to Duck Hunt? I don't know, man. I know Ape Man does love the stage, though. <laughs> I forget exactly why it's so good for Rob, but I'm sure he'll remind us during this match. Every Florida tournament, I always see Duck Hunt. It's like none of them, it's like a mutual agreement. Oh, if I lose the match, we're going to Duck Hunt, right? You know how they agree to go to Smashville? I think they do the same thing for Duck Hunt counterpick. Maybe because the stage looks like the Everglades Swamp or something. I mean, I it really, it really does. Yeah. yeah, they got, they got ducks. Yeah, hey, we're home. home. <laughs> <laughs> I got some of those. I mean, dude, this is basically New Jersey. There's grass, trees, ducks, dogs. Right, you know, there's no grass in New Jersey. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. But anyway, uh, here we are, man. Kame Mushi really kind of abusing Ape Man on his own counter pick. Not even really fighting with the stage, but you just see him take the gyro and then fight with his own special moves. That's something I think is so powerful against uh, characters that have to spawn an item with a special or something, like Diddy Kong. Uh, and I think a lot of people need to start doing that more. You take their item and then fight with your B moves or you Z drop aerials. Something that I'd also like to point out, both these players have been doing a ton of Z drop aerials with their, their items so they can catch them immediately and have access to their full movesets. Wow, Ape Man taking complete control of the stage with these neutral airs. Good spacing by him. However, Kamehameha looking for that back air. Uh, it's a multi-hit. Any part of it hits, you can likely get the rest of the hit. And Rob is really huge. Double roll on the dog. <gasps> wow, another landing Metal Blade into the up tilt. This is a savage display by Kamehameha. Oh my goodness! Oh, if he had only caught that Metal Blade reset. Going for the footstool combo at nearly 0%. Very interesting. Dude, this guy's moving. He literally looks like he's doing a speed run of Mega Man 2 when he plays. Oh yeah, he's a, Kamehameha. He's a Mega Man player and he's also a speedrunner in Super Smash Bros. <laughs> yeah. Trying to see how fast he can uh, finish off the set. And this is a character that I'd say before this guy really started coming to prominence, everybody was like, oh, mid he's kind of mid-tier, middle-of-the-road character, can't be boring, nobody really cares about him. But now Kamehameha has made Mega Man one of the biggest hype engines in Smash 4. Yeah, and he's potentially using the gyro better than Rob is himself. Usually he has control of it, Z-dropping and picking it right back up. A dare to a... Oh, oh smash. I thought we were going to see something come out of there from Ape Man, but... Kamimushi just a little bit too aware, and look at that, using the wall jump so he doesn't even have to up B, throws the gyro, shoots some pellets, this man is just a hitbox factory right now. Oh, looking for that Shoryuken, not able to get him, can he do the down throw of the gyro to up smash? Oh, he does the up smash a little too early, but the up throw should be able to KO. Oh, no. Mega Man is like what, 6th heaviest, 4th heaviest, like one of the heaviest in the game, I'm gonna, gonna consult my little... <laughs> Rogane Hammer printouts uh, uh, here. Tournaments, uh, printouts. Yeah, this Our is like the best thing ever, by the way. Sage is literally a god. Yeah, as, as expected. However, the Metal Blade is out, so oh. likely we're going to see... There Sorry, I was way off. <laughs> Mega Man's 15th or 16th heaviest in the game, but it doesn't matter because he's now out of winner's bracket. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, into winner's bracket, top 32. Mm, very interesting. So keep in mind that Kamimushi, or Kameme is on the side of... <laughs> Sorry? Survival! <laughs> okay. Thank you. Okay, so Arvark, who is going to be playing next, or will be playing soon, Arvark. Like, the animal that Arthur is, Ardvark, but with no D. No D. Yeah, so Arvark. No R. No, there's an R. Okay. Arvark. A-A-R-V-A-R-K. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. So anyway, he's from SoCal.